Welcome to Pet Pals. I'm Dee Dee and this is Randy. And as we do every week, we are bringing you adoptable animals from Frederick County Animal Control and Pet Adoption Center on Rosemont Avenue. And um, we are going to introduce you to some dogs and some cats and kittens. But always remember that we also have other animals in the shelter you don't see on the TV show. And this week we have uh, gerbils and rabbits and parakeets and uh, Loudoun County has 20 lovebirds, so if you're interested in lovebirds, you might want to check them out as well. Our first guest is Chloe. And for those of you who watch the show pretty regularly, you're going to remember her because she was here about a month ago. Uh, Chloe was adopted by a family uh, in West Virginia. They didn't have a fence, and they said she did not stay in the yard. Um, but a family member brought Chloe in saying that uh, she didn't think that they were willing to do the puppy training she needs and uh, that would be true if she was in a fenced yard unsupervised because she's only 11 months old and there's no reason that she can't be trained to uh, come when called and uh, stay within a certain distance of you but she's way too young to trust that that would be like giving a 15 year old the keys to your car not a good idea so Chloe is very sweet, likes people uh, of all ages, sits when you ask her to, and um, is, is really a doll how much she likes people. So she's going to make someone a great pet, but she is going to require some training despite being sweet and uh, gentle natured. She doesn't know very much about what could happen to her if she were to wander off. Mm -hmm. And she is um, part beagle, we think, which means uh, if she smells a squirrel or smells a rabbit, she's going to think about finding him or her and um, be pretty persistent in that and she's not going to notice there's a property line because she has no information about that yet. So if you are interested in a puppy who has all of the things that you can't give a puppy already installed, her love of people, her gentle nature, her compliance, um, the things that she needs are the easy things to add which are uh, responding to certain cues to do what you want her to do. And uh, I think she is the perfect size as well. A lot of people like big dogs, but they live a city life, so they don't have a lot of space. She has to offer a dog that can go hiking and camping and biking and jogging and all of the things that uh, you want your big dog to do. But in an emergency, you could pick her up and carry her if you had to. So um, you can see how much she likes being touched by people. and. That's just something that not all dogs come with. So if you can find a dog who has that affinity for all humans, then by all means, that's the, the part of a family dog that you really want to look for.